Hello friends, welcome to Move Miss. I can't stop smiling right now. Whew. Hey friends, welcome to Move Miss day one. And I really wanted to kick this whole thing off with just sitting down and chatting a bit. And yeah, so that's what this first video is going to be. It is an exciting time in our life. Uh, and I can't stop smiling. I'm probably going to get emotional during this video. Um, it's been a really emotional, I would say I've had a really emotional, specifically last two weeks, actually probably four weeks, um, because there's so many layers to this. There's been um, some frustration, some sadness, some letting go of things and excitement and joy and, um, feeling appreciated and mourning the loss of things. And I don't know, it's been like a series of emotions. And I think I'm finally feeling on the other side of just like, just happiness and like a lightness. Um, I, I mean, I can't remember the last time I've not been able to hold back a smile. So Welcome to Move Miss. It's going to be my version of sort of Vlogmas through March, April, maybe a little bit of May. I don't even know. But we are going to be spending a lot of time together, my friends, and you all seem excited. Uh, I want to make this feel like Vlogmas, so there is Move Miss merch. Um, I'm waiting for mine to get delivered. I hope it actually comes today or tomorrow. But <clears throat> there's Move Miss merch. All the details are linked. There are three designs. One says letting go and moving on. One says if you can be anything, be at peace. And the other one is fueled by coffee and kindness. Check them out. You can customize them however you want, but all the information for Move Miss merch is linked below. Please get some. It's been probably the most bought merch because I launched it on Instagram first a week or so ago. It's by far the most purchased merch I've ever done. Um, and my merch has always done pretty well. Uh, so go enjoy it. Tag me if you wear it because I want to see you all do wearing it. I love it so much. Uh, I also can't wait for mine to come. <clears throat> yes, I buy my own merch. That's the way it works. I just do the design and then pay for my own. This video though is going to be like answering some questions. So I guess the first one is if you haven't seen my big announcement, uh, Diaries, I think volume 10, we are moving. And in fact, we're moving in like three weeks. I think we have three weeks left. Um, we're moving the first week of April and we are headed to Charlotte, North Carolina. And what's really cool about our move is we don't get our Charlotte house, on we close on this house April 15th. We get our Charlotte house April 18th. <clears throat> So we have like a three week period in Charlotte and we're gonna be staying in like a really artsy, fun part of the city. We rented a house there with a fenced in backyard for the dogs. So we have like a little rental house for the first three weeks. So we're actually gonna experience a couple different living arrangements, but we will be there and then we'll do our official move in day, April 18th or 19th. All the dates are blurring. There have been so many dates between work and moves and coordinating all the pieces that I've been storing in my head. And there's just been a lot happening. <clears throat> we also are prepping today for a moving cell, which will be tomorrow's video. And I'll tell you all about that as well. But just so many things happening. And I asked you guys what questions you guys have. So we're going to answer some of those. And these are in no particular order. So just enjoy. How are the dogs going to cope with being relocated, especially Bubba's? Uh, this will be Bubba's fourth house or fifth house he's lived in. Um, they're both really adaptable and I think what's helpful with that is they just had a play date. They have a play date scheduled tomorrow at a person's house that will watch them during the house sale. They've stayed at my in-law's house. They've had my in-laws come here. They're pretty well adaptable. I think our biggest concern for Bubba's right now, Steve and I were actually just talking about it, is our new house is three stories, like three actual like living stories. This is three stories as well, but Bubba's never goes in the basement, but we have like actual three living spaces on three floors and there is zero carpet in the entire house. So already thinking about which rugs we're keeping, what rugs do we have to buy so that he is really comfortable. 
But as far as like their resiliency and their travel, they both travel really well. Bubba's is a little bit better now that he's gotten older. He used to like pant and stand for an entire road trip. He now like will lay down and go to sleep in the car and Mabel is like a dream in the car. So they all travel well. We will stop often. Steven and I were just mapping out our routes because obviously we both have electric cars so we have to charge. And we also have a Tesla and a Mercedes. So the charging is different for each. So we were mapping that out. And we're actually going to rent another house halfway. So we're not gonna stay at a hotel with the dogs we want at home. So we are renting a house for one night halfway, around five and a half hours. And then we'll get up the next morning and drive the other half. So also the dogs won't be in the car. They'll have lots of breaks and we're only doing a half trip. Um, <clears throat> so I think they'll do really well. And I can't wait to film like their first time in the house. Mabel's gonna be so excited because she loves stairs. She'll have three floors to run and she'll have like a full fence backyard in the new house. Um, even the rental in Charlotte for the first three weeks will have a fence backyard as well. Do you see yourself going back to work or focusing on growing YouTube and Instagram? So this is another thing that Steve and I've had many conversations with. I don't think I cannot not work, but I do know that I need some time to breathe um, and kind of come back to myself and take care of my health mentally and physically. So I probably won't look for anything until like June, July, august -y. Um maybe a little bit later. But in the meantime, I want to actually devote a ton to YouTube, a ton to Instagram. My friend Anna O'Brien, known as Glitter and Lasers, who is wildly successful, she's offered me some help and advice. So I'm going to pick her brain a bit. Also going to work with someone offline to help grow. I want to invest in this and see that when I have the time, what can I turn it into? And if that ends up being my new job, then great. So share the channel, help me get it to grow. I'm going to work really hard as well through movements. I have a couple things planned. I've been really thoughtful for the first time and like really planning out my content because I've never been gifted that time. And if we can make this into something, um, perhaps this will become my job, which I would secretly love and like parlay it into like partnerships and maybe getting to create some things of my own brand, maybe my own planner. Um, the sky's the limit and I'm going to really devote the next couple months to seeing what can take off. But I do think I'll go back to work in some capacity. I don't know if I want to lead anymore. I think I've had my fill of it. I might go back and do something else. Um, I've been looking at consulting, a bunch of options. I think that's the joy of this journey and it's not lost on me how incredibly blessed I am to A, have the time, but B, also have this like little moment to reinvent. I am just going to um, embrace it and like weigh out all of my options. Uh, another question, it seemed like your job was stressful for you, particularly the last year or so. Will you be changing directions? I feel like I've already answered that. And yes, you guys have all seen it. I also have, you guys have noticed that you've seen like a lightness. Um, nothing bad to say about um, work, but it definitely was stressful. And I definitely think I was facing some burnout. Um, I had been doing it a really long time. In the 13 years of that job, 12 of them were spent in leadership and although leadership can look one way, it feels very different when you're in it super lonely um, and I think after 12 years of it at an intense level you guys have seen it all the traveling during vlogmas is like long hours it definitely has caught up with me um, and I want to get back to being my best self and I know that um, perhaps that will require a change but like I answered previously we will see what that change will end up being what do you say to people who want to make a huge change but are afraid to do it? It's actually the thing that has helped me embrace this. And my grandmother had told me this um, a long time ago. And I'm not, this isn't her exact quote, but essentially, um, when it is scarier to stay than it is to venture out and try something new, always go out and try something new. Stephen and I have embraced this. It is something we had toyed with um, probably the last three three years I feel like there was at least one every like once a year we were always like let's move let's do it and then this one it just clicked that we were going to do it and let me tell you has God put everything into place 
We have been so immensely blessed through this journey that it makes me realize and gives me a lot of comfort in the change. And will there be hiccups in this move? Absolutely. Will things go awry? Absolutely. But can I tell you, I'm going to find so much joy in even the wild things that happen and just embrace it and enjoy the ride because I'm excited. Oh, my sister. <laughs> my sister didn't ask a question. My sister literally wrote, I can't wait with a bunch of exclamation marks. So excited to be able to spend time with you and Steven and finally meet Mabel. My sister is yet to meet Mabel. Um, so um, that's not a question, sis, but I'm excited to spend time with you and the girls and everyone. Um, how did you know or what was the moment you knew you had to leave? I think it was December. Um, I think Stephen and I, I was on Christmas break and I, so like I had a, a handful of weeks to breathe for a minute and I just realized this wasn't it anymore. Um, and I feel like Stephen had been feeling the same way. And I think we had talked about it, but not seriously. And I think we finally sat down and we're like, this is what we want. Um, so then Stephen immediately started to, he has so many connections because of his job with the government and um, just the connections he has made that things moved for him very quickly and quicker than we expected. So um, yeah, I would say in December is kind of where we were like, it's time. But then we had would have never anticipated. I really thought summertime, everything will settle in, we'll move in the summer. It, it just didn't work out that way. It was not the way it was planned to work out. So it happened much faster than we expected. How do you move pets um, on such a long cross country drive? Uh, in the car, we're patient. I will put tons of some, our dogs ride in comfort. As you guys know, we take care of them. Um, they, I will put tons of um, Sunday citizen blankets in the car and then Steven and I always elevate that gap in between the back seat and the driver's seat on a long drive so that they can, um, be really comfortable and have space to lay. We have tried like the swoopy um, dog things. I just don't find them to work as well as just like filling it that space up and then putting blankets down. And we'll travel with food and snacks for them and we'll stop every so often. Um, but they're really easy to travel with. I just think give them time. Make sure if you're stuck in traffic, you pet them. We talk to them the whole time. It, this one will just be harder because Steven and I will be in both of our cars. Logistics, are you driving, hiring movers, etc.? We are hiring movers. Um, we just finished our quotes for the movers. Um, we have to get it actually probably requoted after the moving sale tomorrow to make sure the quote will probably change because we had them quote a bunch of stuff that we're probably, or we'll see if we sell. But um, yeah, we're hiring movers. So they they take the furniture apart, they take everything apart, even so much as they have a professional. Um, we've been debating on moving the Pelotons just because it's a big move, but we actually just heard back from them that they hire a professional here and a professional in Charlotte to take apart your Pelotons and put them back together because they've moved so many. So we're hiring movers. Um, they're also storing our stuff for the three weeks that will be in the rental house, and then they'll deliver it to our house in Charlotte. Um, I just find it so much easier. And then the way I color code and organize anything, I'll just color code each of the doorways at the new house and everything will be dropped where I need it to be except decor. Decor in the clear bins is going all on the second floor. That way it can kind of dictate where everything is going to go. How do you balance everything so perfectly? I don't. <laughs> I'm the farthest thing from it. Um, I think what you're seeing is so much joy for this new thing that um, it doesn't look stressful. Now, will I tell you January and February where I was trying to navigate a really busy time at work coordinating moves, uh, talking to my parents and thinking about their move there, um, talking to my sister, getting the house on the market, getting the house ready to sell, getting things donated. And per like, that was a pretty stressful time because there were just so many moving pieces at that point. I feel like I'm getting it now to a point where like the moving pieces are slowing down and now it's just like the last big ones that I have scheduled. What will you miss most about this house? I think this house came into Stephen and I's life when we were looking for like a new fresh start um, and something new in our relationship. And so this house holds a lot of really good memories. Um, 
Oddly enough, this move to New York has been some of some really great times, but also probably some of the hardest times I've ever faced. Steve and I often look at each other and say like our happiest was Charlotte. So Charlotte holds a lot of really good vibes. Um, and also it makes me realize what I left there because now that my friends all know, I have like 50 people in Charlotte that I like, can't wait. I have my best friend. Um, I taught across the hall from her. I, we literally taught all day and then I mean, Stephen and I have a nickname for her. Her name is Pew Bug. Um, I mean, we, like, she stayed at my house when I wasn't there. Um, she is, like, really close to me, and we cannot believe. We had we have chatted many times about us, us coming back. We just never thought it would happen, and now that it is. But um, we were first-year teachers together. We taught across the hall. We helped open a school. We would spend every day together teaching and then we would spend every weekend together and Stephen and her were so close and um, I can't wait to be back together. But then I'm realizing like all of my friends, I've never really made friends here. Um, there's like been a handful, but like deep friendships of like people who are like dying to just get back together and have parties. Like all of that's going to be back in my life and I'm so excited. Uh, I actually already have plans um, with a new friend there, Brittany, um, we are going to go to a karaoke event for Taylor Swift's album opening. Uh, she was like, I don't know if you'll want to come. Yes, I'm coming. I want to embrace friends and live a life again in a city. Uh, so uh, that way, not answering the question. What we all miss about this house is the house, um, but we're also super excited. Are you finding it hard to stick to a routine knowing you are a state of flux? Uh, I think it's, Let's talk, let's answer that question this week. Uh, I've turned off all my alarms. I don't have a job. <laughs> That's the most freeing statement I've ever been able to say. I don't have a job. Uh, so we'll see what it's like. I've never not, not worked. Even when I've been off for work, there's always been work to do. I literally have no work to do. This is my job now. And uh, we'll see what it's like to stay on a uh, schedule. We'll find out. Once again, how'd you know it was time? I think you know. I think it whispers. And when you don't listen to the whispers, it's, it starts to talk a little louder. And I would say in December, I knew it was time. I've been feeling it for a while. And the way some certain pieces of it have played out has let me know it is time to go. It is time to let some things go. And, and now it's just like the countdown of these last three weeks, four weeks. I can't even remember. It's like maybe three and a half weeks. I know you enjoyed the snow. Will you miss it? I will. I will miss the snow. Charlotte will get a dusting here and there. They'll close the whole city and close schools for a dusting. Um, but I also think as I've gotten older, there's like a little bit of an aspect of me. It's very gray up here all the time. And I'm excited for like some sunshine. But it also has been so long since we lived there. It's going to be like a 50 degree, 60 degree Christmas day. Uh, we were down there at my sister's for Christmas, that one Vlogmas, and like we sat out on our porch and had coffee. There's some joy to that as well. I, you, I'll make it feel wintry and inviting no matter where I go. Already answered this, do you have a new job? Nope. What kind of job will you look for? I'm leaving my doors open. If this takes off, this is something I'm going to pursue. I've been thinking about some interior design work. I've been thinking about some education consulting work. Uh, I've been thinking about going back and teaching. I love teaching so much. I left the classroom before I was probably ready to leave the classroom. So I'm open to doing that. Uh, I don't know. That's the joy. I don't have to decide. I can venture out and see where it takes me. Uh, maybe you've already shared this, but is your goal to become a full-time content creator? We will see. If it would happen to take off and you guys help me do that because that doesn't exist without all of you, then... I am all in and we will make it really incredible. Where are you going to be living in North Carolina? We are actually going to be living in one of our favorite neighborhoods. When Steven and I first lived in um, North Carolina, our first house we bought was in Myers Park and Myers Park was great and now we're gonna transition, we're not far at all, um, we're gonna be transitioning to the Dilworth neighborhood. It's one of the best neighborhoods in Charlotte and we live about a half mile from the main um, part of Uptown, 
and Stephen can ride his bike to work. He could even walk to work if he wanted to. Um, we're really looking forward to it. Most of the questions are honestly about my career. Will you be driving down in your car or will you sell the Tesla? We will be driving down both of our cars. So Steven's um, car and my Tesla. And then Steven and I were just debating because uh, I'm not going to be working for a while and he wants, he really wants to ride his bike. Um, we'll probably get rid of one of the cars once we get there and just keep a hold of one of them. And then once I get a job, we will buy a new car and him and I've already decided I'm going back to a Volvo. I actually already picked out exactly what I want. I showed it to him, he loved it too, but I miss my Volvo. The Tesla has been fun and I'm glad I had the experience of driving one, but I'm a Volvo person, so I'll be getting one and I'm going to get the black edition where it's completely blacked out. Already built it, already like, Steven likes it. I know I like it because I've already driven it. So that's the next car, but we'll probably not order it because you have to order it. Uh, we we'll probably won't order it to the fall until I figure out what I'm going to do with my job. How quickly are your parents looking to move? <laughs> Very quickly. My mom is actually packing and depending on how things go, I might be going for a week um, sometime next week or the week after to help my mom and dad pack. Um, so we're going to get them down there as quickly as possible. Plans for marathon training. I do have a specific schedule. I'll try to like type it all up. I actually had a specific six month schedule planned. Um, I'm on day two of it. I'm running the November marathon in uh, Charlotte. I've done many half marathons, but it's always been a goal of mine to run a full in this year of reinventing myself. It's one of my goals. So yep, I'm on day two of training. I waited for my last day of work to start my training and we're all in. How was your last day of work? Were you sad to go? Um, it was a tough day. It was a tough day. Um, I had so many emotions. <laughs> like I said, like the last couple weeks of so many emotions. There were aspects of it that were so sad. Aspects of it that, um, I don't know. I just like a lot of emotions. It was a, it's a, it was a different day. But what I ended up doing is after I left, I ended up leaving a little bit earlier. Um, I had PTO that I could take. Um, I actually went to a beach and just walked on the beach. I grabbed a seashell from it and just had like a really like hour long walk back and forth on the beach and just like gave myself time to breathe. And I, that was a beautiful moment of that last day. Um, but yeah, there were many, I think, I think anywhere that you've been that long and have invested so much, there will be layers of, upon layers of different feelings and emotions. So many, most of your questions are if I'm going to make this my full-time job. We'll see. <laughs> um, Oh, the politics of North Carolina seems scary compared to New York. How will you handle that change? Well, Stephen and I lived there when there were lousy politics in North Carolina already. Um, lousy, in my opinion. Everyone is entitled to their own. I think the difference is, is Charlotte is such a city that uh, it's it's a little it's far more liberal. Um, for them far more open-minded um, than other parts of North Carolina. But in all honesty, I think people think that New York is incredibly liberal as well, and it is, but it's because where the bulk of the population is in New York, it is just very liberal. But I mean, we actually live in a very Republican county. Um, so New York is an interesting state as well. They just tend to pass more liberal laws simply because the population is denser in those areas. Uh, but I think anywhere in our country, there's so much division politically that like re that doesn't really impact us. Will you be close to the beach? Yes, we'll be about uh, two, two and a half hours from the beach and about maybe an hour and a half to the mountains. So it's like the best of both worlds, which is we cannot wait for that. My friend Amy runs um, on Instagram asked, does it feel like it is meant to be 100%? And God in the universe and all those things has shown us that. And we know that it's meant to be. A lot of these are also like, no question, we're just so excited. Uh, I'll answer the last one. It says, will your new house have a yard for the dogs? Yes, that was our one. Even our rentals ha ha has to have a, uh, a dog for the yard. Um, uh, they all have a full fenced in yard. It's clearly not as big. We sit on 1.2 acres here and we don't have a fence and our neighbors are so incredible that, uh, and there's no traffic here, 
that our Mabel and Bubba's have like free reign. They'll have a fenced in backyard though at the new house. Um, uh, on the first floor it like walks out and then there's like a deck above on the second floor but they will have a full backyard and they will go on so many destination walks and all of those things uh, that was really important for us we are always thinking about the dogs obviously because they're, they're such a huge part of our family but they'll have lots of space and lots of fun we're very anxious around how Mabel will adjust with many more people like it's not going to be where she can go on a walk and no one is around there'll be lots of people and lots of um like we're gonna probably walk to freedom park all the time and that place is packed on a weekend she is not she's not aggressive in any way she's actually just like skittish uh even when people come to our home it often takes her a long time to warm up so we're nervous about that but we also know bubba's was the same way when we first got him he struggled and he adjusted so we know that she'll adjust uh, and she's really adaptable and she's such a good dog and such a good listener that it's just going to take her some time because she is fearful. Uh, with us, she's so loving and so warm, but like she will shy away. Like even my parents that she has now seen many times, like she has a hard time adjusting to them being there and like letting them pet her. She just kind of just stays to herself. So I think that's where we're going to cut off this video and I'm going to save some of the questions. We'll revisit them and we'll dive into a couple of them. But I am so excited to share this journey with you. I am so grateful for you wanting to be a part of this and being so supportive. The messages have been so kind. But I will let you guys go. Um, go buy some Movements merch. Share the heck out of this channel. Let's grow it and see if this does become my job. Uh, all possibilities and doors are open. And I am going to step through every opportunity that I get. I think I'm just going to say yes a whole lot more. Um, and I'm just going to love life and feel a little lightness and take care of myself and bring joy and just be happy again. I cannot wait, friends. I will see you tomorrow for Move Miss Day 2. Will be the moving sale. Oh, oh, oh. And I didn't... I shared this on Instagram. The way I'm doing Move Miss is because I've never had time to video the way I've wanted to video and like video into the evening and all those pieces. So I am actually going to film it like a lot of YouTubers do. Like, I'll be a day... Am I a day behind or a day ahead? Am I a day... I'm a day behind, so like it's Saturday, you're getting this Sunday. So I'm like filming, why can't I think of the words to explain that? You are getting the video the day after the day it was recorded. That way I have time to actually like sit down and edit and I wanna be able, once we're deep into movements, like go to a coffee shop and edit the video for the day. Uh, and have footage from the evening. That's something I typically don't do because I usually edit and film everything on the same day. And this will give me some freedom to like record into the evening time so you can see a little bit of our evenings as we do this new adventure. But in the meantime, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be tomorrow, friends. Bye-bye.